Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. So today Tesla leaked out in some of their source code an option for the Tesla Model 3 getting an imminent performance upgrade. But at this time, because up until now it's usually been free over the software, increase the performance of your car. A few, month, a few weeks ago they did a 5% increase to the Model 3. I didn't really notice a big difference on my car, but nevertheless now they're saying in the code it's going to cost $2,000 to upgrade your Model 3. Now the performance increase will vary depending on the car you have. Now I need a little help here because someone out there can probably look at their source code because it varies depending on which car you own. So this might get a little technical but if you have a web browser, which everyone probably does, and you can view the source code, you can kind of see this and determine what's going on. If you just go to the regular Tesla Model 3 ordering page and view the source code and search for uh, improved acceleration, you can find the price that says $2,000 uh, for the performance boost. Now nowhere else on the main page of ordering the Tesla Model 3 does it say what kind of performance gains you're gonna get. However, if you currently own a Tesla Model 3 and you go and log into your Tesla account, click on your car, and at the bottom, and if you have available upgrades for your car, such as full self-driving or anything else, you can click on this upgrade area and in that area, if you view the source code and you click on this little JavaScript button where it says the main.js, then you search the source code, you can actually see the performance metrics or gains that Tesla is saying that you're going to get. So unfortunately on my Tesla Model 3, I ordered every option and there's no page for me to get to to view that upgrades page. So for me on the Tesla Model 3 performance, I can't view the source code and see what kind of zero to 60 times or benefits that you might get. However, on my dad's car, he's got the Tesla long range real wheel drive car that they don't even sell anymore. So if I log into his account and look at the source code, it says his car is going to drop zero to 60 from 4.6 to 4.1 seconds. Now I did some looking around on the internet and I did find someone with a dual motor non-performance car. And that, if you look in the source code, says it's going to drop from 4.4 seconds to 3.9 seconds from zero to 60. So the real question for me is both the cars, the long range rear wheel drive dropped to half a second off zero to 60 and the dual motor at non-performance dropped, dropped to half a second zero to 60. And if the dual motor performance like the car I have drops a half a second, we'll go from 3.2 seconds as per what Tesla says down to 2.7. Now, of course, I've gotten a little better. I've gotten 3.0. Would that drop it down to 2.5? Probably not. But nevertheless, even if the car drops down to 2.7 or maybe even 2.6 seconds there is 60. We're looking at basement low 11s in the quarter mile for the Model 3 performance. Would I pay for that upgrade? In about two seconds. So I hit a tweet out to Elon to ask him, will the boost upgrade be available for the Model 3 performance? I hope to hear back. If not, it looks like this change is imminent and maybe we'll find out in just a few days. So if there is someone out there with a Model 3 performance, with available upgrades, as if in they did not order the full self-driving, you can go ahead and go to that page, click on upgrades, view the source code, and possibly leak out what no one has right now. We don't have what the possible zero to 60 would be on the Model 3 performance. So if anyone's doing that, go ahead and post, the, post in the comments what you got there. Really interested to see. Nevertheless, we'll eventually see what these things are coming out, but I'm excited to do it. Thanks for watching.